So this is part two of when I met up with Connor the Welsh poker picker the other day. We went out, did some charity shopping to find some bits to resell on eBay. If you haven't checked out part one, go and check it out. But I also bought a load of Connor's old stock. I paid 20 quid for this bag of bits. Basically, he's accumulated loads of stuff and he's run out of room. I don't know what's in here, but I'm excited to find out. Here's the bag. Here it is here. But anyway, let's dive in. And already I am just seeing cuddly toys. There's tons of cuddly toys in here. We got a bag of tweenies. Don't know if these are any good. Never sold any of these before. That is why I do love doing this. These blind buys, it gives me the opportunity to research all these little things. Some of them might be pretty good, some of them might not, but at least I'll know either way. Build a bear dog. Build a bear cat. Build a bear bumblebee. That is awesome. Jointed at the shoulders. I like him. I do like him. Whether or not I've got room in the collection or not, I don't know. I do have a big bundle of Transformers to run you through later in the video. But that's awesome, eh? More teddies. Tony the Tiger off of Frosters. More teddies. And even more teddies. This bag, right, is pretty much three quarters full with teddies. But what I know Connor does is if he sees anything unusual or anything old, and it's cheap enough, he just buys it anyway and does the research later. So there's a lot of new brands here that I haven't heard of before. I'm going to go through sold listings and just see what they're all about. Could be some gems in there, might not be. Something I'm a bit more familiar with, Hot Wheels cars. We've got one carrier bag load and a little carrier bag load there. Now I'm building up a fair number of these. Last time I counted, I've probably got about 400 just loose Hot Wheels cars. I'm gonna research and see if there's actually a second-hand market for used Hot Wheels. I don't know, maybe I'll weigh out two kilos worth. So that keeps it under the small parcel postage limit. And I'm gonna see how many cars that is and whether it's worth doing them in two kilo bundles. VTEC 2-2 drivers, I always bundle these up and I aim for about three quid each whenever I do bundle them up. Typically I'll wait until I got five, try and sell them for 15 plus postage. We got some old school, that's 1983, that one's 1984, and that one's 1985, My Little Ponies. With these retro My Little Ponies, I always look them up individually because some of them are worth a fortune. If they're not, they bundle together really well. And we got three there that'll make a nice little bundle. What is this? Whoa. That is a mechanical cat. Is it meant to make that noise? Oh, I... Jesus. That is horrific. Wow. Toy Quest Cat. Got to do some research and stuff. That sounded horrible, didn't it? Coca Cola plate. That's GameCube games. Hang on. Zelda, Wind Waker. I mean, well, they are pretty scratched up. Yeah, they're pretty scratched. What's that one? Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Harry Potter Prisoner of Azkaban. Pretty cool. So all in all, tons of stuff here for me to research, some possible new brands to be on the lookout for. But like I said, those two were totally worth it. It's been a busy Easter weekend, right? It's nice to have had those bank holidays, Friday and Monday, off of my full-time job. I've thrown myself into my death pile. Listed as much of it as I could. I just want to clear this place up a little bit in preparation for boot sale season. And you know what? There were some items in there. Items I forgot I had and items I didn't realise were worth what they were. Great example, this first sale. Check out this pair of Nike Bauer 
ice skates. I picked these up end of the boot sale season. I paid a tenner for them. The only reason I bought them is because I know Bauer is a good ice skating brand and a good rollerblade brand. These are Flex Light 14s, says on the back. And what I like about these boots is they've got the inner shoe and it's got all the sizing information on that little tab there. Super easy to research, easy to size. And when I was going through sold listings, I couldn't believe like how popular these were and how much they were actually going for. Small size, kiddie sizes, three, four, you're looking at about 60 to 70 quid. Adult sizes, you're into your hundreds. The last ones of these sold for 120. I put these up at 150, had an offer two days later, 130. I was happy with that price. It's in line with what they usually sell for. I accepted it. Great start to the Easter weekend. And on the theme of skates, I saw this pair of Rio roller skates as well. These have got California cruising down the beaches in Los Angeles vibes. Check these out. Proper rainbow patterns on the side, rainbow laces. These were absolutely filthy and that's why I was putting these off, right? But didn't take long, couple of wet wipes. They've cleaned up pretty well. UK size four, sold for 30 quid all in. Now shout out David, ages ago we did a swap. Remember my green Incredible Hulk figure? I swapped that and some cash for a ton of Funko Pops. I finally got around to sorting the Funko Pops out. I've given some away to the people who wanted them for their collections and I've kept some back myself for my collection, but there were so many of them and I haven't got the space to store them. I need to sell them to try and recoup some money. So I had a big listing binge of Funko Pops and Funko Pops are mega popular, right? Scorpion off Mortal Kombat, he's gone. Tekken King and Arrow. These have gone for about the six, seven pound plus postage mark. A few more recent pickups that I've got around to listing as well this weekend. Check out this G-Star coat here. I paid a fiver for this. It was 10 pounds, but they'd slashed the price in the charity shop, half price. I find G-Star stuff really easy to list because on the label right there, it gives you the exact coat model. So I could use that, find the listing on eBay, that one there has gone for just under 30 pounds all in. This was a quick little sale. I picked up this North Face Junior Large Half Zip Hoodie in the charity shop last week, 199, something like that. Sold for 13 pound 50 all in. Three, four days it took to sell. So not like a massive wild profit, but it was a quick profit. This was a surprising one. VTech 22 drivers, you know I pick these up all the time and usually I bundle them together. This one was worth selling on its own, Minnie Mouse, it's gone for 15 quid all in. And then to round off the Easter weekend, I've had those eight, nine, 10 pound all in sales, important sales to allow me to hit my 500 pound profit total per month. Schleck Gigantosaurus, 12 quid all in. Tops Sparkle, Kylian Mbappe, 2022. Look at that card there. That one's gone for seven quid all in. Spider-Man, PS4, not as valuable as I was hoping, nine quid all in. And this Scorpion Monster Jam Monster Trek, nine quid global shipping over to Spain. So last weekend, I did a swap with one of my friends, David, the Welsh GameCube collector. He always looks out for Transformers for me and keeps them aside. He basically hates selling them, knows I collect them. And I know the bits that he collects, so whenever I find them, I keep them to the side. And every couple of months, we do a swap. He's got a bag full of Transformers. And these are really exciting, right? I won't take you through the main bulk. It's these ones here that are the most interesting. These are from the Netflix trilogy, The War for Cybertron. It came out in 2019 and it's split into three parts. The toy line for that Netflix series is fantastic. Super detailed, really fun transformations. They're just brilliant transformers. They are actually my favorite type of transformers to collect. And David stumbled across them, which is amazing. And if these toys are starting to trickle into the boot sales, this could be a really exciting summer. Have a look at these, right? I did not realize that I needed Transformers that turned into animals. I never really collected the Beast Wars ones back in the day. Didn't really see the point of a robot transforming into an animal. You can get robot transforming into a car or a vehicle, but why an animal? But now I've seen some of these and I've got some of these. They are absolutely epic. Check that out. So anyway, David, thank you very much for these. Look at this one, Impactor. In fact, I'm gonna take this out into the garage now. Now, David also has a disc cleaner, and I found one of my old childhood games up in the loft in cold blood. Doesn't work. 
David whizzed it through the cleaner. That is back working. So I'm looking forward to playing in that. But also last weekend, I went to my first proper boot sale of the season. I went to Cowbridge. I turned up an hour late and I went there with the family. I wasn't expecting to find much. I just wanted to get into the zone of it. The boot sales around me are kicking off soon. I want to be sharp for them as well. So I use it as a warmer. But even though I turned up late, I found some bits. There's a couple down here, actually. Timberland, UK size five. They were only a tenner. Got to pick them up. And also this Lego Duplo base plate. Only a pound, probably worth about a tenner. But going there, even though we were taking it a bit gentle, you had that boot sale excitement. It just kicked in. And I'm seeing a lot of other resellers at the minute doing their boot sale videos. None around here really kicked off. But it won't be long. Let's give Impact a, a new home. Seriously running out of space to put these. This all needs to have a bit of a sort out. For now, I might stick them up there. Love that colour scheme, purple and yellow. But yeah, look, these, these are some of the other bits that I picked up. So, starting off the top here. Only a pound, kiddie size Liverpool retro football jersey. 1997-1998 season, I think, from a little bit of research. I mean, because it's such a small size, probably not going to sell for much. Couldn't leave it. Little pet of Javianas, paid 50p for them, something like that. Maybe worth six, seven, eight quid. These were a little find. Three pounds for these glittery... Converse, what do we reckon? 12 quid, 13 quid plus postage, something like that. I bought these Nike Bauer skates because the other ones sold so well. These though are absolutely wrecked. These are Vapor, was that XX2? I shouldn't have bought them, shouldn't have bought them. Ruined really, and actually soles for this particular model aren't particularly that strong. Little Bumblebee rescue bot there. There he is. But this was find of the day. Some old, oh no, hang on, the grow, the grow clock's gone on the floor, looks dangling by the lead. That was only a pound. Need to do a bit more research into that. Might be a tenner in it, maybe. Don't know about that rattle. But yeah, find of the day. These gray Lego base plates are from the late 70s. And I've got nine of them, no, 10 of them there. Paid a pound each for them. Now, if I bundled them all together, I'd be looking at about 50 quid for retro gray base plates. Mad, isn't it? But this, this one was probably the fine though. Paid a pound for this one as well. A Lego little island base plate. It's worth a nice amount of money. Also got a ton more there. That was from ages ago. Need to sort them out. That might turn into one big bundle. I got the tunes on. Time to pack some orders. The first three sales, I've been testing clothing out a bit more. And I've sold three pieces. This full zip Adidas polyester track top. This is going global shipping over to Japan. 17 quid all in. Size large Berghaus body warmer. That's one for 17 plus postage. And I sold the Barrytown FC waterproof jacket. This only lasted two weeks. I paid three quid for it. All it takes is one buyer and the right buyer. Had this up for 20, someone offered 15, accepted it. This is going to Neath Pot Talbot, so not too far away. I've sold another couple of Funko Pops. As soon as you list them, they fly. So popular. Hellboy and Jack Skellington. I think that one, this one I got off of Facebook Marketplace. £12 plus postage. Hellboy, about 10 are all in. Pick this up from the boot sale. Wallace and Gromit toothbrush holder. The toothbrushes should go in Gromit's hands there. Obviously, you don't have the original ones. Probably be a bit manky by now, actually. Because this is from 19... from 1989. Two pounds, it's gone for 15 plus postage. 
can't believe these sold. We've got the Maradona question of sport card, and I also bundled in another question of sport card there. £10 all in they went for. Had them up for 15 The offer came in. I snapped their hand off for that. These shoes. I had someone get shirty with me over the eBay messages. What they are, they're a pair of tennis shoes. They're by Babalat. Never heard of Babalat at all. But what caught my eye with these is on the sole, they've got the Michelin man there. So I was thinking, well, they must be pretty decent if Michelin have bothered to team up with them and make, make a sole for them. When I was looking at soles for these, I could only find ones over in China, but they were selling for silly money. They were only three quid. They're a massive size, so I just thought, let's take a gamble, do a bit more research. No pre-owned ones in the UK at all. I listed these up for £35 plus postage. I'll bring around here, actually. 35 quid plus postage. I thought that was pretty fair. I had nothing to really go off. An offer come in £15 plus postage. Declined. Same buyer come back and said £17.50 plus postage. Well, I thought, you know what? I only paid three quid for him. I counted at £20 plus postage. I don't know what was happening with my listing, right? Because I did start to get another few offers in around the £16, £17 mark at that point from other buyers. Well, that original guy who was going back and forth with me counted my £20 with £19.50. Whenever I get buyers like that, I just like to play a little game with them and I just reject it. I mean, I know it's only 50p, but it's out of principle, really. So I then have a message from the guy who said, um, sorry that you rejected it. You know, I was only 50p off. I didn't bother messaging back. I then had a message to say, actually, you know what? I will take you up on your £20 offer. But by this point, I had some other buyers messaging £16, £17. So what I did was I dropped the listing price from £35 down to £25. In my head, the natural price of these would have been 20 to 25 That's what the offers I was getting in. That gives me a good indication of what these are kind of worth. The guy follows up and messages me and says, can you please send that offer for £20 again? I just message him back and say, well, I've dropped the price now to £25 plus postage. I then got a message from him saying something about being a dishonest seller. I mean, he had his chance. It was there on a plate for him, 20 quid. And he was silly enough to come back £19.50. I didn't hear anything back until I sent out offers to the watchers about two or three days later. I sent out offers for £22.50. They counted my offer £20 plus postage. If I get called a dishonest seller, do you think I'm going to accept that offer? Because I can obviously see that it is this person making me the offer. Of course I'm not. Declined, blocked. But lo and behold, someone else has swooped in and picked them up for 20 quid plus postage. Less drama with this one. We've got a monster hide all. This one should come with a pair of hair straighteners. You can definitely tell she is missing them. But even without the straighteners, seven pounds plus postage. I sold a Betty Bear. I picked this one up in Bridge End. This is one of the bears that's full of beans and you stick it in the microwave and it warms up. Whenever he's in the microwave, it's, it's a little bit sadistic just watching him going round like that. That little face as well. Still, he sold. He went for about 15 quid all in. This was a decent little sale. Always keep an eye out for the racing mould of Thomas the Tank, Trackmaster. There's a couple of different versions of this. This one's got the little square push button on the top. That one has gone for 15 quid all in. And the final sale... From 1989, we've got a Matchbox Blackbird plane. US Air Force stamped on the side. Pretty chipped and scratched all around the edges. That's gone for a tenner. The type of thing you find for 10, 20p at the bottom of those toy bins. And after all that, parcels packed, ready for the post office. So I just dropped these parcels into the post office. Hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out Owen, first commenter on the last video. I'm not gonna hit up any boot sales this weekend. Going back to watch the football. Watch my team get relegated into League One. No one likes to see it, but it's all part of the game, isn't it?
That's why we love it. So, if you enjoyed this one, hit that like, hit that subscribe. See you on Wednesday. Jelly Cat Guy will be back with me. We'll hit some charity shops, see what we can see. Oh, and I know my mum watches the videos because in the background of my last video, she spotted bird bingo here and she brought this down to play with my boys over the Easter holidays. And Mesha said something like, that better not be going in the for sale pile. Well, if you leave stuff around the house, there's every chance it might end up on eBay. I can't. I can't.